This builds all of two days later than the previous one. It's from the 29th instead of the 27th. Very little has been changed in between the two, but there are in fact some notable things that have been made different. One of them, uh, we go to the options menu, there's an actual options menu, like as such. No song titles, it's like some weird amalgamation of the previous two. Also, yeah, displaying the numbers is weird, like... Because it's in, supposed to be in hexadecimal, it should be 1A, B, C, D, E, F. And unfortunately, it doesn't quite work out that way. As you can tell, also, um, DAC still... The PWM synth still uses an earlier th version. Uh, another thing to keep in mind, uh, tr channels aren't labeled. Though clearly they intend to. Um, also, yeah, color test, same as in the final. Um, what else is there? Yeah, the same as in later builds. Still says featuring Espio the Chameleon. We go to stage select though. Um, let's say we went to bonus stage. We'll just select the number two for the heck of it. Um, yeah, yeah, nothing different. It's still the same. Um, go to stage select. Um, Amazing Arena 1. And we do it, and it's still the happy stuff. And, uh, whoops, we get hit with the badnik there, and that's certainly not changed in this build. And still no button. Still no button. So, that will likely mean for you that, um, the boss hasn't been enabled. I'm having trouble keeping some of these, uh, prototypes straight, so... You'll have to forgive me if I'm not completely certain about what's going on in each. And yeah, priority between like Knuckles and Mighty when stuff is going on at certain times is still pretty wonky, like when you call the partners. I mean, that wasn't fixed in some of the later versions either, so that's not exactly too much of a surprise. Alrighty. Gotta figure out where that boss guy is. I still can't for some reason. Hello, boss. Who are you? And if it comes down to where I can at least cut out a little bit. Ah! Yeah. Okay. Boss dude? Nope, no boss dude. Yeah, and it's not because I'm using debug that he's not triggering. I did that in the um, 07 build accidentally, and it just kind of screwed up the camera, but he's still loaded, just apart from where he should be. I could also move, like, so slightly off screen from there. And the camera would track me and all, but, um... So yeah, still same older clear thing. I'm sure the ring glitch, if you jump in with Mighty, exists too. Haven't really tested as such. And speaking of special stage rings, they've actually kind of changed around the colors for the special stages this time. Also, yeah, this is, uh, completely working right. They've gotten the graphics working too, um... This is the correct graphic too now, but uh, still not functional. Keep on going, and we reach here. So yeah, we select the zone or attraction or whatever. Still doesn't zoom in and out, no scaling with that. Um, yeah, since Kami Catcher doesn't work, gotta select your character like that. So away we go, and yeah, speed slider it is. So I'm gonna reset, and I'm gonna show you one of the main things they did change. The special stages, they all now have slightly different palettes. As you can see, this opening is rather similar to previous builds, but past that we get into a stage area that's like yellow and green and pink. A very interesting and festive color combination indeed. I almost like a little bit more than what they ended up with in the final, which was more of like a pinkish and green if I recall correctly. So that's that. No items in here, once again. It's rather weird. They had them in before. I guess they didn't want placeholder items if they were going to finalize them more later. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. Anyway, so, yeah, you can keep on going if you really need to with this. Yeah. So, um, if you get, if you get it, you're gonna get the whole get the holy ring thing again. So, uh, yeah, if you really want to see that. Also, as you can see, uh, to make up for the fact that there are no items in any of the stages, you now have 100 rings to go through to complete each level. So that's another nice thing. Actually, you can complete this special stage now. Still can't complete the second one, because it has asked you for three spheres when you don't have any. So uh, yeah, you get that. So get the holy ring, same as in later builds. 
Not surprising. Um, so this is the first one that that's enabled in. We select special stage one, and uh, let's uh, get three blue spheres. And it's the same general palette, the blue and the purple and the yellow and stuff, so... I think it was the same in the final two and everything, so we, we'll just uh, fast forward a little bit through here till I can get a gap or something decent to fall out of. There we go. Um, go to stage uh, two, or now, zero, one, two. And this one is purple and green and some brighter yellow stuff. I think it's similar to what it might have been. Now, this stage, there was a stage that might have looked like this, but it wasn't this one. Yeah, also the bright colors for those arrows is uh, really kind of trippy, actually. So, uh, yeah, seeing that, no items. I mean, you know what happens when you get the special ring and all, so you get that. Um, off to special stage three now. So, uh, yeah, because some of these later stages have a reliance on springs and things, you can't clear them. This might have been an actual level's final palette, but I'm not sure if it was this stage's. So, yeah, there's that. Still, the layout seems about right. It's what I think was correct. Also, if you stay on the one side, you'll take that special route that's, like, upside down in its path. This here, this one, yeah. Still no item, so yeah, that's this is where I figured that they must have changed the palette because it didn't look like this. This might have been the one that was blue and green, but I don't want to necessarily go back to some of my previous videos to check yet. Um, so that's that. Um, find a gap to get out of, I think. Just fall from there. If I can find one. Ah, here we go. Yay, die. Woo. Okay, alrighty. So I think that was stage three. Well, let's go to stage four. Either that or I'll just reset and apologize for wasting your time. Nope, this one's very purple with some yellow highlights. Not quite as colorful as some of the other ones, but pretty cool. Also, interestingly enough, this whole area is white with some red and stuff on it. So rather bland, actually. Actually, it's almost a purplish color. It's like a very... It's like a bluish, kind of off-white type of thing. It's funky. Um, so yeah, I mean, the level's the same. The only thing is it's easy to fall off in certain places. And uh, later levels, like I mentioned, need springs and stuff. So uh, that's that. That's another special stage. Um, one more to go through, and uh, I'll do that, I guess. Uh, stage select, we go to uh, special stage and five the last of the special stages and it's blue and orange and it definitely wasn't that in the final and yes once again like i've mentioned you're probably tired of hearing me saying this stage is completely impassable you cannot get through it you will lose your rings and die or fall out of the stage i should say after a certain amount of time because it required springs to get through so i still like this uh, palette it's interesting pretty cool kind of Sonic and Tails-y, I guess, because it's blue and orange. Um, yeah, I remember these colors being a little bit more interesting. Like, not quite so flat, but maybe that's just my poor memory. So, yeah, I'll fall out rather than have you waste all your time with that.